Okay, the big topic today is time management. We need more time, business owners and employees. Let's start with technology. How do we keep up? <laughs> well, one of the most important things is you can't let the multitasking manage your entire day. In fact, there's been studies that say when you're multitasking through technology and four things that are going on at the same time, your IQ dips nearly 15%. Now, women, interestingly enough, do it better than men. But here's the real key. The key is don't do three or four things at once. Use the technology, don't let it use you. And it makes a huge difference. So the fact of the matter is, if you take the time and effort to set a plan for your day when you first walk in in the morning, it'll have a huge impact on the entire part of your business. Example. For an example, like for example, here's me. I wake up every morning and I spend the first 25 minutes of my day mapping out what I plan on doing for that entire day. I don't check my email. I don't check my voicemail. I dedicate specific time to set my entire day up. I only check my email every hour to hour and a half. And I only respond to things that need to be responded to in an urgent way when they need to be. Otherwise, they wait till a predetermined time. It sounds a bit rigid, but the simple fact is I'm not letting that email run my day. I'm running my own day around the technology. Now, how do you let the people who need to stay in constant communication with you know that you're only going to be checking at certain hours without alienating them, without letting certain fires not get attended to? Well, especially when it comes to your staff. If you're a business owner, for example, you have to let the staff know what the rules are. If you've got clients that are directly communicating with you, if you're capable of having a buffer, I happen to have an assistant that helps me dramatically during my day. Not every business owner has someone as a backup. What you need to do is you need to inform the people that you do business with that this is the way you choose to communicate and I bet you they won't have a problem with it because you're going to be providing better service not worse service. And so you tell them that as well. Yep. What about if you're an employee no assistance it's you. Well your, your time has to be spent managing your schedule. You're never going to get any more time at the day. At the top of the, the spot you said that you know we need more time. We're not getting more time. The reality is you're supposed to use the tools that are given to you to better manage your day. If your boss is not helping you devise your own way to manage your day. Take a look at your schedule. Have briefer meetings throughout the day. Don't spend two hours in marathon meetings. Make a rule to yourself say for the next week I'm going to make sure that every one of the meetings that I'm in takes half as long. I mean, there are silly tricks like people do meetings standing nowadays. Whatever it takes in your day, make sure you use those tools and you'll be more productive and your boss will be happy too. Now, speaking of meetings, some people have all these meetings they have to attend, no way out of it. How do you make sure that you not only attend the meeting, but you actually have time to implement those thoughts into action? Well, I mean, it's really about managing that schedule. I mean, there are so many programs out there right now. Obviously, the simplest one is Outlook. Everybody seems to be ruled by that little dinging that pops up every 15, 20 minutes when they have to do things. I personally turn all those alerts off. I know when I had to use my technology and make sure that the schedule is fitting my needs. Again, it's all about not letting the schedule ruin your day. You're in control of all of that, whether you think you are or not. Your clients are not in control of your day. You're in control of your day. Now, I've heard before that you should make a top five list of things you have to do, and this way you tackle the hardest topic first. Some people say just the opposite. You handle the easiest stuff first, get it out of the way, I'm in your camp. What I do is I'll pick the top five things that need to get done that day, and then I'll pick a five wish list where it needs to get done, but it's not overly important that it get done that day. And great, if I actually get through the first five, which most of the days I actually don't, no matter how hard I try, um, I'll occasionally get to the wish list, which makes it better for everybody. Okay, so Rob, let's say that you're one of those people who is just not organized, you're scatterbrained, you're all over the place. One, two, three list as to how you organize day in, day out. Plan your day the first thing when you get up in the morning. Make a decision that you are going to check your email at predetermined inter intervals during the day. And don't let your calendar dictate what you're going to do on a daily basis, which means make sure you carve out time to do the things that you need to do within your day. Okay, thank you very much. And if you want more details on this advice that Rob gave us, just go to our website, fiosonewsli.com. Thank you.